What, what's good, YouTube? Good, YouTube. It's your boy. Young Batman. Yeah, you already know what it is. Hello. Hello, Dizzy. Dizzy off of that. But we out here with another video. Basically, this video, I will be showing you how to start your crown swirl. What tools you will need to get your crown to swirl. And this will not involve product. It will not involve pomade. So let's get into it. So basically you're gonna need a comb, any kind of comb, a mirror, so you can see the back of your head, and a curve brush. Curve brush with a tip like this. This is the CQP, it's curved. Optional you can use this brush because it's got like a tip so you can draw your crown. And a Conair brush, very small, very thin so that you can reach uh, those areas of your crown. So these are the things we'll be using. You see the tip right there, how thin it is so that you can reach your crown. Now you wanna find your crown area where you wanna draw around where you wanna have your swirl. Since we have our crown right here, around that area, we're gonna try to go in clockwise where your hair grows. My hair grows clockwise, so we're gonna go clockwise motion around to train our waves to go uh, clockwise around our crown. So we're gonna try and set it around that area. So we'll get our hair combed. This will definitely lift the hair up and stretch it out so that we're prepared to, you know, break those forks and stretch the hair around. Using the sides of the comb to go around our crown to get it to go in a circular motion upon which the way our hair grows. So we're using the tip to kind of close it off. We'll get our crown isolated in a small circle. And using a mirror so you can see the back of your head. And I'm pulling out the CQP. As you can see, the tip of the brush is very useful. You can use the tip of that brush. You get used to using that brush. You can, you can swirl your crown with it and tighten it. Uh, you can use both sides as you brush. You use the top side or the bottom side because this is a handle brush. You can go around to, to swirl, tighten your crown, and do so as, you know, you got to really have good light so that you can see what you're doing in the back of your head where your crown is as you're going around. So, you, you know, just keep brushing your hair that way. This is a softy. Definitely good to use a softy if your hair is pretty soft. Um, it'll, it'll drag your hair right around that that way to get your hair going. And uh, this is the kind of brush. This is probably the best brush to use. One of the brush brushes, best brushes to use to um, isolate your crown because it's really small. You can easily get the brush right around your crown to form that circle. This is probably my favorite brush to use to do this because I can pretty much draw it out and around, whether if my hair is long or short. But now that we're, you know, wolfing now, that we're, you know, reaching our way of wolfing, we want to keep going, keep doing this to keep it going around. And you'll, when you keep going and keep uh, brushing around in a circle, you'll eventually see where your crown is and you'll see it going around and eventually when your hair starts to grow longer your hair will start to swirl you'll see like a like a spiral and uh like right here i'm just pulling the comb out just trying to redraw it out again because i'm kind of messing it up a little bit because it's tough to see you know, with the light and uh the way the angle is so i'm kind of looking into the camera not really in the mirror in the back of me so I'm drawing again. So I actually have the mirror back of me now so I can see exactly where um, the crown is right now. So as you see, I'm using this brush to draw it around. So this is pretty much like when you're doing it and learning, it's probably gonna, you're gonna mess up a few times and then eventually when your hair gets trained, it's just gonna, it's just gonna form around, you know, automatically when you're brushing, it's just gonna be there. And, um, I didn't do the like the pomade method in what you see where you throw the pomade around. That is a good method though. 
But right here, I'm just like, just brushing it. Just brushing it. To keep that circle, as soon as you start to see that circle going around, don't brush the same area twice. Try to keep that pattern moving to the next spot. Overlapping will definitely cause forks in some sense. But we, not counterclockwise, clockwise. You gotta keep going until it forms a circle. And just repeat and have it going at that angle. See what you're doing? You know, with this brush right here, you can kind of get every detail and just draw it in. Like, I mean, this kind of airbrush is so dope. It's mad official. Like, you just, it just gets it right there. It just pulls it right across. And then you got the hole right there, the circle. And after all that, put your so many waves on in the Sioux rag for a couple of hours or overnight. And uh, let's see what it looks like. Nicely laid down. Crown pretty tight. We got a swirl coming. And I say keep doing that and eventually you'll have your crown tightened, isolated, and and that's it, y'all. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, share this video. This video right here and this video right here, check them out. If you haven't seen them already, check them out. Yeah.